You are watching Access LaPorte County Channel 97. Coming up next is the October 8th meeting of the Michigan City Water Works Board. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesslaportcounty.org. Today is Tuesday, October 8th. This first item is approval of the minutes from the meeting held on September 24th. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting held September 24th, 2024. Second. Motion to second. We approve the minutes from the meeting of September 24th. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Purchase order. Uh, attached you have a list of uh, 10 purchase orders. Uh, the first one would be to Flanagan and Tire. This is truck, tires for truck number seven for $809.56. Uh, the second one is to USA Blue Book for lab supplies for $3,501.45. Uh, the next one is to Fast and All for marking paint. That's uh, when we do our locating out, out on the streets and stuff uh, for $1,183.68. The next one is to IDville for an ID maker. Uh, we produce our own IDs for our employees, and the one that we have is broken, so we needed to get a new one mm -hmm. um, for $4,054.49. Uh, that's a combination of hardware and software to, to do that. Um, number five is to Ferguson. This is supplies for the 16-inch main at Woodland Crossing, confirming. Uh, we came up short with a few fittings, so we needed to order some more to finish to keep finishing that job for nine thousand twenty-eight dollars and forty-three cents. Uh, the next one is to Beecher, eighty-five thousand utility bills. Um, so I think that covers us for uh, four to six months, something like that, uh, okay. for two thousand two hundred eighty-six dollars and sixty-one cents. Um, number seven is to Ferguson. This is Polywrap for the Woodland Ridge project. Uh, this was confirming for $765. Number eight is to McCann. Uh, this is excavator rental from October 17th through November 14th. This is the excavator we're using at Woodland Ridge, and we're also going to be using it over here on 10th Street um, for the extension that's going next to the tower. Um, so that's uh, six thousand five hundred seventy-two dollars and eighty-two cents. Um, renting the machine is still much better price than owning the machine. Buying a machine like that will cost us around one hundred fifty to one hundred sixty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Uh, renting it for when we need it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, this next one is also to McCann. This is to move that excavator from that job to this job uh, mm -hmm. for six hundred dollars. We don't have the, the right kind of truck to do that safely. So, um, And then the tenth one is to Ferguson. This is the materials for the water main project here at 10th and 11th. Also the service lines uh, for the tower building and also the parking garage. Uh, that's for $79,659.15. How much of these are we going to get reimbursed for? Um, actually, on the we have an agreement on the uh, tent, the water main for tent between tenth and eleventh for fifty percent of the of the cost, um, plus then uh, the tap fees and the tap the materials for the services are uh, going going to be reimbursed to us also. So we are we're expecting. Um, because we're doing a 50-50 on the water main uh, extension, uh, it benefited both the development and also us because we're getting rid of an old water main that's uh, an old small water main, so it's to our benefit as well. Um, so that's why we did a split, 50-50 split. So uh, they're supposed to, we're supposed to be receiving uh, approximately $109,000 in total. Um, and then uh, that that's the services because those are 100% on the developers. Um, and wow. then the 50-50 split on the water main project itself. Hmm. All right. 
Excellent. I, now we make a motion of approval of the purchase orders. Second. Okay. Motion second. We approve the purchase orders as of October 8th. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Oh, very interesting. Green. Any no. questions on the claim? I don't think so. I'll make approval of the list of claims dated October 8th, 2024. I'll second. There's a motion to second. We approve the claims as of October 8th, 2024. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Bad debt list. I'll make a motion to accept the bad list, bad debt list dated October 8th, 2024 for bookkeeping purposes only. Second. Got some big ones this time. I saw one's a week. Yeah. Got a Two's a week. Three's a week. We got a motion, okay. Motion to second, we approve the bad debt list as of October 8th. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, old business. I have nothing for old business at this time. Did, uh, how did that name break? Uh, I don't know. Was it Hitchcock in 20? That one there. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah, we finally got, the, um, well, we got the paving done for it. Um, so one of the things that we're doing is uh, we've worked with, uh, we're working with the fire department to make sure that all of our customers that have fire systems are aware of their of the rules and the requirements to contact us. Um, actually, um, we were talking about the, the fire department is looking at purchasing some stickers that they're going to put on the, on the cabinets, on the control cabinets in these places, telling them they got to call both us and them because mm -hmm. the fire department doesn't even know about these half the time mm -hmm. to let us know that they're doing them so that we're aware of what's going on, which will help also prevent a future situation like this. We still have cleanup to do out there. We've got some dirt to clean out of that ditch area. Um, and so we're going to have to go back in and do some more work um, before I have a final cost on what that project was. So we haven't built it anymore? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Any other old business? New business? Um, under new business, um, in your packets, there's a memorandum of understanding between uh, the city of Michigan City and the Department of Waterworks. Um, Previously, uh, we had agreed uh, to contribute towards the mayoral salary. Um, this was under the uh, Perry administration. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, for, uh, I believe it was $10,000 a year. Um, and in the current um, budget plans for uh, the upcoming year for the city, they are adding a position uh, call it director of public works and they believe that that and, and there's a understanding that that particular employee would be essentially the liaison between my operate you know what we do every day mm -hmm. and the contacts and complaints and concerns that occur that go to City Hall mm -hmm. uh, that currently get handled through the mayor's office. Mm -hmm. So this person would end up dealing a lot more with those calls and complaints um, for whatever reason people will call and complain. Um, it's a lot of time a lot of times they, they do it because they don't know to call us and talk to us first. So um, but anyway uh, the the request was to um, 
increase the salary, uh, the salary contribution to twenty-five thousand a year, um, which then the city would earmark towards paying the mayor's salary and department and the uh, director of public works salary. Um, it's just a portion of their salary, uh, the, the bulk of the salary is still coming out of tax dollars, uh, but they believe that uh, that we should uh, contribute since these uh, two roles are going to be, they, they interface with the department and with the uh, department's customers on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, we do, of course, we do still have our payment in lieu of taxes that we do annually, um, and that is uh, we, we pay $444,000 a year in uh, to the city's general fund. Um, that's because we, while we collect revenue as a utility, uh, because we are municipal utility we are tax exempt we don't pay property tax or anything like that whereas if we were a private utility we would pay property tax hmm. so um it's it's a accepted and common practice that as a revenue uh as a revenue receiving entity um that we contribute a portion of our value towards uh in, instead of actually paying property tax, since we can't pay property tax, mm -hmm. um, like I said, it's it's not a, it's it's pretty common across uh, utilities in the state of Indiana uh, that are organized in the manner that we are that we're organized. Is this for one year? Uh, I believe this is intended to be a annual because I see that last yeah. sentence in number one. So basically, it would start uh, for the year commencing in 2025. Okay. And it just says effective as of January 1, 2025, and it does not show an end date. Okay. So it would be assumed that this would be a repeating okay. request mm -hmm. request and payment. I'm assuming that the city of China drew this on. Yes. I'm sure. Okay. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Davis? Okay. I'm good. So we're going to make a motion. I'll make a motion to the contribution toward the salary of the mayor and the director of the public works to help defray the city's general fund. Second. Motion and second that we approve a contribution towards the mayor and director of public works salary in the amount of $25,000. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Any other new business? That's all I have. Have any comments? Any comments from the director? I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I second it. Motion second to adjourn. Aye. Yeah, everybody.